Well, hello again from Kingston. On a rather windy day, I think you can probably tell. It's a little unusual, but uh, this week I'm dedicating the update to a lady in Toronto who underwent a very serious surgery this week while her son was working on the third crossing. So please remember that and enjoy the update. Thanks for watching. This week began with every evidence of preparation for paving to begin. An effort to clear up was evident. And a little bit of light grading was taking place. The effort to make headway on the steel structure was also clear when the Gomaco machine was moved to the east end. Cleanup work was taking place on Highway 15 too. It would continue for much of the week as the process of installing utilities came to a close. Throughout a rather wet Monday and a rather better Tuesday, work was done to build a retaining wall on the northeast corner of Highway 15. The concrete for the wall was poured on Wednesday. By the end of the week, on Friday, the forms were removed and the wall was clearly visible. Tuesday saw more of the excellent work performed by Sousa Redimix as they laid a sidewalk section on the southwest corner of Highway 15. Hand finishing always features and you'll see little tips and tricks when it comes to measuring and scoring the concrete. However, early on Tuesday morning, vehicles began to arrive for what would be the most significant activity on the East End this week. After a quick site appraisal, it wasn't long before a steady stream of asphalt-bearing trucks began to supply the layer. And before very long, the first ribbon of asphalt was on the ground. Work continued steadily throughout the day, with a great deal of asphalt being laid. And a determination to capitalise on fine weather took the activity into the early evening. continued well on Wednesday. But a very wet Thursday saw work limited to some excavation and other clear-up activities. Friday dawned clear, cold and dry and saw everything back in full swing with the task complete. job well done by Williams Paving. The anticipated work of building forms on the east abutment didn't occur this week, but elsewhere many slabs were laid on span 20 and the steel structure is a busy scene. By week's end, span 20's slabs were all in place. The west end saw more sidewall poured this week on span 8. And the bridge buggy was in use, perhaps removing forms. 
Work, on and around the west abutment and green wall, is well advanced. This rising shot looking east shows how very far we've come. And now, some wildlife. That's another week in the bag, and I think I'll invest in some hair gel for next week. Thanks for watching the update. Please remember if you can subscribe, I'd be very grateful. Otherwise, I'll see you this time next week. Bye for now.